I need to vent. And before I vent, I don't need y'all to tell me I'm missing some nails, okay? That's obvious. Anyway, so this dating thing. I'm over it. And I know, I know Auntie Jam always say she done, but y'all, I really be trying because I want love, but the audacity of some of y'all people. It makes me, I am starting to feel as though I'm in the twilight zone. Maybe the matrix. Something that's not of reality. For sure not of reality. So I'm talking to this guy. He slid in my inbox a couple of days ago. We just been talking. Just, you know, normal conversation. Today he brings up, what are you attracted to? Or what are you looking for? Y'all know how the questions go. What do you mean by that? I learned my lesson though with that question. I can tell you what I'm attracted to physically. But everything else... It's going to have to be left to your imagination because what's going to happen is we know how this play out. Yeah, we know how it plays out without even watching the rest of this video. You're not going to be honest and you're not going to answer his question because you don't want him to be turned off. You want it to keep it a mystery. So then you can pop that on at a later date and he wakes up in the in the bed and saying, who in the hell am I laying next to? I tell you what I'm attracted to. You start to mimic that. I get all giddy and excited because I think I found the one. And then later on down the line, I realize you sent your representative. Shit fall apart. Somebody get their feelings hurt. And then Jam is back at the starting line. And I ain't got time for that. What? So he proceeds to tell me that he's normally attracted to lighter skinned women or caramel tone women. And that does not bother me. Not that I'm caramel tone. That's not why it don't bother me. It doesn't bother me because that's his personal preference. I'm not one of those people that get mad when somebody have a preference. I prefer you tell me that you have a preference instead of me finding out later down the line that I was never your type and you were just with me for the hell of it. So that doesn't bother me. I feel like we all have a type. We all are attracted to something and we're all unattractive to somebody. So why didn't you answer his question? That makes absolutely no sense at all. You can't have it both ways. And for y'all that don't really be having types and just kind of go after anything, y'all scare me. Because it's like, what, what do you really like? But anyway. I'll tell you, we like women. We like women. Men don't typically have a type. Yeah, there's some ass men. Yeah, there's some boob men. But we are more focused on the woman that is going to be there for us. Us going to be our ride or die. The woman that is always going to be in our corner. We love women. We're attracted to women. We don't have this big laundry list that you guys do. But don't try to put that on us just because you have a laundry list. That doesn't mean that we have to have one. Men are a lot more simpler, a lot more simple than you. So he proceeds to say, oh, you know, you are my type, whatever. I guess he's talking about physically, you know, as far as he goes, as far as skin tone is this and this. And then he says, but what do you have between your two ears that's going to intrigue me, make me want to be with you or make make me want to keep coming back to you? The fuck? He wants to know who you are as a person. He wants to know who you are outside of your physicality, what you look like, what your body looks like. He wants to know what's in here. Who are you? Okay. Because you guys are worried about what's in a man's pocket and what a man can do for you. It's not even necessarily about what a man, a man looks like. You see a whole bunch of super attractive women out there with very unattractive men. Ask those women why they're with those men. It ain't about their looks. So if a man is asking you what's in here, who are you as a person, he's thinking about who you are, who you would be as a wife, who you would be as a mother, who you would be as a sister-in-law, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So any woman that's going to have a problem answering that question is just simply a problem. Who? What? The audacity. So let me get this straight. At this big age of 37, you think that I'm about to sell myself to you? Excuse me, sir. Come on now. And see, this is where some of y'all go wrong. Y'all don't understand how certain people will look past a flaw or a character trait just to give somebody a chance. Because listen, you're 5'8". We're the same. We're the same height. You're receding. You're balding at the top. And you are somebody's baby daddy. And you're asking me, what do I have between my ears that's going to keep you coming back? <laughs> Boy, fuck you. 
so you want to know what's between my ears it's a brain and this brain told me to block your ass after you asked me that question boy go fi go find you something safe to do because playing with me it's not it and another thing i will mention is that this woman is extremely masculine it's funny how she's complaining about man men wants to be with a man but she's acting very very masculine no man is going to be attracted to that that's why he's asking her who are you what's up here what's going to make me stay with you women ask the same thing of men because if a man is not doing what he's supposed to do as a man in a relationship the woman is not going to be with him she's not going to stay with him she's going to get bored she's going to get tired She's going to be done. But why is it not the same when it comes when it's in reverse? Why are men not allowed to ask women, who are you outside of your body? Who are you? It's the biggest piece of dog. Shit. You are a very masculine woman. That's your problem. You kind of cussing like a sailor a little bit. You're talking about yourself in third person. You seem so happy to be in content with men but yet you're alone and yet you're single and you think that this attitude is going to take you somewhere you think because you're attractive and you got that caramel skin that that's all you need you think because you got this body and all that that's all you need the man should just bow down because you're a woman no we want to know who the woman is so we can put her in the category she needs to be put in just like women put men in categories women look at men all day friend zone friend zone friend zone free lunch free dinner free concert free clothes free shopping spree free cash app and then they look at this other guy oh yeah and it's usually the baddest one out of all the, the men the worst kind oh he's the one and let me put my super saver man cape on because now I can try to change this man into what I want him to be. See, a lot of these women, they don't want strong men because they can't manipulate them. They want the weak man that just back and let them have their way and talk to them any kind of way that they want to. But to me, this masculine attitude, this refusal to answer basic questions is a problem. But you guys let me know what you think. This is just my opinion, obviously, but let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks a lot for watching this video and have a good day. Peace.